I'm Sophie. I'm a curriculum developer at Code Academy. My specific job relates to data science curriculum. So I'm trying to find what skills different industries require so that people can come to Code Academy and learn the skills that they need. I see data science kind of like the intersection between statistics and computer science. People have been working with data and trying to learn from data for a really long time. And there's a lot of different methods that people use to try to understand data and use it for different purposes, like predicting something or understanding trends in uh, over time, or even just like visualizing a relationship between two things. And as computers have become more powerful and as people have thought a little bit more about how different algorithms can be used to try to solve really hard problems. That has kind of blossomed into this new field of data science, which requires a little bit of statistics skills, a little bit of computer science skills, and a lot of other things kind of mixed in there. There's a lot of different jobs within data science. And of all the people that I know with positions called data science, I think they're all doing very different things. Some jobs in data science, I think, are a lot about trying to understand consumers. So like understand what types of people are using a product. I know a lot of companies are doing kind of A-B tests constantly, trying to understand is this version of their website attracting more people than this other version. Um, sometimes data scientists are really working on prediction problems or understanding data that's coming in um, in order to address some problem, like trying to predict whether people are cheating on an online test. It kind of depends, I think, on the company that you work for, the sector that you're in, and then what your job function is within that company or what team you're working on, and then also the age of the company. The tools that people use change really quickly, but right now I would say a lot of companies that I've seen are using Python just because it's a general purpose language, so it gets used for other things. And so because there are really good libraries in Python for doing a lot of data science things, um, people have just kind of decided to use Python since they're using it for other things as well. Um, I think the second most common language is probably R. R was a programming language that was specifically designed for statistical computing and data science. So a lot of things are easier <laughs> to do in R um, and Python requires additional libraries or additional tools to be loaded in order to do the same things. Personally, I think the most important thing is to understand the theory behind what you're doing. Um, because if you kind of understand the idea of what you want to do, then you can learn different tools. Data is everywhere. Like there are so many different ways that we create data every single day without realizing it by being on our phones, by walking around town or by, you know, sending emails, whatever we're doing. And there are so many interesting questions out there. So to have the power to like figure out how to collect the data that you need to answer the questions you want to answer is really, really powerful. When I got to the point where I could just like have a thought in my head in the middle of the night of like, I wonder if there's a relationship between these two things. And then just like, had the skills to go online and try to answer my own question. Um, that, that was a really great moment. <laughs>